Hello folks, uh, we're doing, we're thinking about quant strategy for every score range. And what do I mean by that? Some very frequently we talk about um, what one should do in a mock exam, how you should gear up. Uh, and, and sometimes the advice given to someone who's consistently scoring 35, 36 in a section, wildly different from someone who's scoring 8, 9, 10 in a section. And so it's dramatically different. So it's not applicable. And then we look to plug it in and sometimes it backfires dramatically. So what you try to do, we try to say, hey, if you are in one particular range, what is the, the number one thing you should be thinking of? And that's the, that's the idea behind this. Right? So uh, we, we, our starting points are very different. We cannot have the same plan for, for, for everyone, not a one size fits all thing. So let's take dig, dig down and then say, hey, if you are in less than 15 range in quant, we're getting fewer than 15 marks, what should you do? Consistently getting, my typical score is less than 50, 10 or 11 or 8 or 12, something like that. Typical scores in this range, this range, this range. What should one do? And so if you're scoring less than 15, uh, the idea is to somehow start here and go all the way here or to, to whichever point we can do. The, the, the skill set, mindset, plan, everything for going for this journey is different this and is different from this. So we're going to focus on what should you do if you're getting less than 15 and then kind of build from there. And so if you're getting less than 15, then this, this idea that you need to focus on very few things is super powerful. And so you have to get six questions, not 22. So the entire game plan here boils down to narrowing down your syllabus. And so dramatically narrow down your syllabus. Don't look at questions that are even slightly complicated outside your swinging zone. And so absolutely limit yourself to arithmetic code, percentages, profit and loss, ratios, mixtures and allegations, speed, time, distance, pipe systems, work time, maybe experience and logarithm, definitely simple interest, compound interest, maybe progressions, you know, very basic arithmetic where, where, where we won't have to be a genius to crack, very approachable. You say, look, I'm going to consistently be in a place where I can get six questions right or five right get 15 marks. That's my first objective. Primary objective, right now, sole objective. Get there. So do not chase complicated topics. Do not be driven by speed. Do not be driven by syllabus completion. Do not be driven by range. And don't get uh, get caught in this discussion where people are saying, oh, fantastic question. It took me so much time. It's such a beautiful question. And I'm used to saying that. So don't listen to people like me. Uh, I, sometimes I get I, I, I enjoy solving a challenging question and get carried away. That's not what this is about. It's about identifying very solvable ones, getting them right time after time after time consistently and then building from there. And so in that phase, absolutely narrow down your syllabus. Okay. We've gone there. When, when you are focusing on this six, seven questions, absolutely accuracy matters. The strategy to getting 15 marks is not attempting 10 questions and getting 6 correct. Not. It's attempting 5 questions and getting all of them right. 6 questions and getting all of them right. And so, in this first zone where you're saying I limit my syllabus, limit my focus, limit my number of attempts, limit the range of what I'm trying, you've got to say, look, I need to reach a point where I can confidently attempt very few questions and get them right every single time. So, for accuracy is to be a bhankar mantra, remove tougher topics, chase only accuracy, you need to have this belief, first of all, that you say any quant paper, give me the 2023 slot 2 or 3 really cranky paper, I will find my 6 questions, take 5 minutes per question, spend 30 minutes, have another buffer of 5 more minutes, 35 minutes, and get 5 questions right. So that is the zone you want to get into first. When you are fighting this first battle, do not worry about 2nd, 3rd, 4th battles. Do not be constrained by by the idea that if I do like this, when will I go to 40 marks, forget 40 marks. Consistently get 15, then build from there. Right? 15 to 25, what do you do if you're, if you're in this zone? If you're consistently getting 15, 16, then you've got to, you've got to say, look, I'll get everything right in arithmetic. To be the absolute king, not, not, have, not be competent, but be beyond competent. Be very uh, comfortable thinking in terms of, uh, uh, I won't say shortcuts, but quick ideas, quick ways of thinking. I look at a quadratic equation, I know whether it has positive roots or negative roots. I look at uh, 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 modulus, I know how the graph looks. So whatever you're doing, increase your competence level. I look at 25%, I know it is one fourth. If I say profit of 25%, I know 
the ratio of cost price to selling price is 4 is to 5. So become more comfortable, ridiculously so, in arithmetic. After that, from here on in, you have to add either algebra or geometry. Already here, if you're getting 19, 20 marks consistently, then you're saying, come on, I need to go to 28 marks, 30 marks. 30 marks is 10 questions all correct or 13 questions, one or two wrong, right? which means you have to step outside of arithmetic, which means you have to add either algebra or geometry or number system, it doesn't matter. My preferred next additional thing is algebra. If you are agnostic to all three, if you have natural happiness with geometry, go for geometry. Okay. Goal is now 30 marks where you are saying, look, I need to attempt 10 or 11 and get all of them right. So from here on in, uh, decision making becomes more important. Slightly broadening the syllabus becomes important. Uh, speed also begins to play a role. Okay. Next one, how do you go from that? You're not just in the 15 to 25 range, but you're in the 25 to 30 range. How do you go? Oh, you're, 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 you're getting 32, 33. How do I go towards 40? How do I totally amp myself to get 45 marks in this section? Thank you. No gaps. You cannot say I leave permutation probability and trigonometry and mensuration. There could be three questions from here that are duds, absolute sitters, and you don't even know how to approach them. And because you have left these topics, you load the pressure on other topics. It's a stinker from speed time distance you spend seven minutes on. If you're playing to get 99.5 percent time, you cannot afford to have gaps in your field. Right? So, uh, you have to have tons of timed practice in order to amp up speed. Remember, accuracy is way more important than speed. You should go for speed after you are confident about fundamentals and accuracy. Going for speed without having accuracy is very dangerous. But if you are really going from the stars, then speed is also very important. Speed is crucial, but is second after accuracy. There is no trade-off. Become very accurate, very comfortable, utterly at ease with the topic, then build speed. Don't put the cart before the horse. Uh, you have to get super comfortable in uh, in, in, in skipping steps in your head, if you have x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0, okay, 3 and 4. You should not have to do x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0, x into x minus 3 minus 4 times x minus 3. Let the number of cows in the field be k, none of that. Scribble, 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 jump, 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 run. Your, your, your hand should move at the speed of your thought. This shouldn't be the limiting factor. And so, and remind us, you are talking about cyclicity, you should be like, right, 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 right. should not have to... Uh, write down steps ultra methodically should be trundling ahead and not trundling ahead and rocketing ahead right speed and depth are important sitting on this giant uh, structure of fundamental soundness you should now chase speed absolute elite from 40 i want to go to 51 52 then no gaps you're shooting for this you're you're you're, you're playing for having to planning to attempt questions at the rate of one and a half minutes per question because there are going to be two three questions that take more time it's going to be three two three questions that you skip after spending time on it so it's not two minutes per question but one and a half minutes per question on an average which means you should be at uh, lightning quick no round one business obviously you're, attempt, you're looking to attempt 18 19 questions you cannot say i'll attempt five and then another five and then another five it work like that you should be ultra comfortable with almost everything and be deadly with your decision making and be super intense throughout. I've had guys who have this competency, but they cannot have that competency for a 40 minute stretch. They go into the zone. They can have a 10 minute stretch where they get six questions right. They're flying. And then they become either satiated or complacent or lose their edge. If you're chasing 99.6, that also cannot happen. You start off to a flying start. You attempted six questions in 10 minutes. You should, should, should not like now take stock and consolidate. You're not playing a one day match. It should be like, look, next 10 minutes, I'll do six more and then see if I can do all 22 and have three minutes where I'm just taking rest. And so you should, you should that, that intensity, not having to have a breather, all of those become super important. Right? So, summary, less than 15, narrow down your topics. Accuracy is the game. 15 to 25, if you're here and stepping up, add one more thing either algebra or geometry 25 to 40 expand the scope focus on speed 40 plus everything matters there's nothing that doesn't matter speed intensity focus topic range ultra comfort with the 
having bunch of things on autopilot, everything matters. You're already getting 42 and you're finding, figuring out, solving for 53. It's a whole different ball game. Okay. Don't chase 99 percentiles when you're scoring 48th percentile. Right? So very, very, very important. Right? So this thing is like a mantra. Fix the basics, build range, then it's time to fly. Hush.